एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो एंड वी आर लर्निंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आइसोमेट्रिक व्यूज in this part of the video we would be learning about the isometric view of the pyramids and if you haven't watched the first part of the video click the link below in the description box to watch it if you want to understand the concepts deeply you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so let's start with the video this is the second part of lecture number 13 which is on isometric views of the solid objects and we are doing the module number 5 in which the topic that we are doing is isometric view of the solids as uh, the topic suggests that uh, we have to prepare uh, the isometric view of a pyramid and namely it is a pentagonal pyramid and we have the situation in which the pyramid was standing on the horizontal plane so as it is a pentagonal pyramid so we have to create a pentagonal pyramid here and we need to place that pentagonal pyramid in a box so as you know that the angle of this regular pentagonal pyramid is 108 degrees how it is 108 degree that is having the simple concept uh, and i want to hear from you people about how it is 108 degree if you know the answer you can comment in the comment section below after that you have to uh, keep uh, this pentagon in a box and we want to trace this box in the iso plane so for this what we need to do we have to take a horizontal line and on that horizontal line we have to sketch two different lines namely uh, the lines would be at an angle of 30 degree to each other then after that you have to fix or freeze one point there so let's say the point number 2 is freezed there so this is point number 2 this is being freezed over there and from 2 you have to open the compass mark the distance and cut it over here right so from 1 you have to open the compass mark the distance cut it over here also from 4 to 3 you have to mark the distance cut it over here so that one uh this box is being created of the similar length because we are making isometric views not the isometric projections after that what is to be done you have to divide all those points for this you have the points uh, which are labeled as a b c d and e so for that you have to open the compass and take that distance so from 2 to a you have this distance so you have to open the compass from 2 to a and mark it over here on the line similarly from 1 to e you have a particular distance and you have to mark that distance over this line from 4 to d you have to open the compass and mark that distance over there and similarly for b and c then join all the points together so that a pentagon is formed over the surface of this iso now uh, you have to uh, mark or you have to mark the central uh, point of this surface on the iso circle so for that you have to divide all these lines together so that a center is obtained now from that center you have to draw a perpendicular in the question you might have uh, you might be given with the height of that cone which is there so you have to um place a perpendicular over here and mark that distance so the distance is marked and in order to indicate the central axis you have this uh line which is 
a long line and the dash line, long line and a short line. So this indicates the center axis of the same. And now open the compass till the specific distance and mark it over here. And the maximum point would be the apex point and name it as O. Now you need to join all the points together so that a pyramid shape is obtained. So I need to join E with O. Similarly, I need to join uh, C with O point. Additionally, A can also be joined with O point. Uh, B can also be joined with O point and for D also this can also be uh, possible. So this leads to a wonderful 3D shape uh, that is very difficult to uh, produce on a 2D or on a piece of paper. So by this procedure we have extended our height uh, to a specific distance so that this base remains the same and a conical um, pyramid or a, or a height is obtained at a suitable distance which is the apex point O and then from that apex points all the points are joined together. So with this we come to the end of the second part of the video in which we learned the concept of forming the isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid. In the first part of the video we have learned the concept of forming a cylinder using the ISO circle and uh, we have prepared the isometric view of the cylinder uh, namely the cylinder was lying on the horizontal plane and the cylinder was uh, lying on the surface of that horizontal plane also. If you want to understand the concepts deeply you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.